So let's start with how the understanding of standardized testing and the problems of standardized testing and datatization and dehumanization within the classroom where kids become nothing more than data points to move up and down um, a graph, how that overlaps with the push towards vouchers and charters and all of those things. I think one of the biggest frustrations that we are finding within education today for both parents and teachers is that there is no room, there is no time for individualized education. And right now I can hear all of the professional development people on the face of the planet go, oh, no, but that's what the systems are about. The systems are about using assessment and formative data in order to allow you to you know, understand students on an individual level. Listen to me, I am a teacher of 15 years and I will tell you that that form of individualized education that you're talking about where a kid is a data point and his ability to assess the skill and understand the skill and get the skill and move on through your little beautiful linear understanding of learning, that's not what learning is. Learning has never been that. Learning is messy and it is and it is relationship driven and it is motivating and it is internal and it's not external. And all of your externalizations, whether it's data or grades or any of those things, that's not real learning. And any teacher can tell you that. Any teacher can tell you that they understand the aha movement that they see on a kid's face 10 times better than seeing something performed on a test. And more importantly, that frustration lies in a future understanding of where the these kids need to be 10 to 15 years down the line. 10 to 15 years down the line, it's creativity that's going to save them. And right now our schools aren't able to be creative because they're so busy proving that they're working that they don't have time. That's where the frustration is from the parents and from the teachers. Everyone is saying the same thing when it comes to this aspect of learning. And that is when you create an end point for learning, whether that's grades or a test score, when you create an end point of learning, you are stopping actual learning from taking place. You know, there's all sorts of research and TED Talks and things like that that talk about the fact that when you externalize a motivator and you remove internal motivation like curiosity and uh, individualization, that that actually stops learning. And schools aren't able to respond to that. They're not able to respond to that. Um, and I'll, I'll explain that further. Uh, in another video, but schools have to be able to respond to that. And right now, schools' hands are tied. They're not able to respond to that. 